morning guys welcome to another weekly vlog today yeah. is friday the 18th no sorry friday the 19th if i probably have lost track of what day it is and what date it is friday the 19th of february and for those that you do <laughs> i still can i can never do that bit and for those of you that don't know me i'm diane and i'm harry <laughs> we're part of uk disney vlog um and this is a week one of our weekly vlogs um not sure how this weekly vlog's gonna get filmed, what we're gonna do. We're starting it on a Friday. Last week was a weekend one. Because it's my birthday weekend, kind of. My 40th birthday on Tuesday, so four sleeps away. I'm not sure what we're actually doing this week, whether we've got any plans this weekend or not. So we'll take you along with us, do a bit of filming. Might be in two parts, because you never know. Might have some birthday surprises. Do I? Ah, it doesn't look that way. Tonight I'm having a birthday party with the girls via Zoom. I'm gonna have an 80s birthday party. So I will take you with me, show you my outfit, show you the girls if they'll let me. But now, Harry and I are gonna do some crafts, kind of. So we, I watched The Despicable 3 a few weeks ago and they did bird feeders for cups or beavers. I can't remember, I think it's, I can't remember which one Jimmy's in. I think it's cups. Um, you're in cups now, but you've not started yet because of COVID. Um, Harry has been loving feeding the birds while he's been off during um, lockdown. We've got this giant bag of bird seed. So we're gonna do, make some bird feeders. Yeah. So tell us what we've got, Harry. A stick. We've got a stick. Some rake. String. Oh, string, yeah. Um, toilet paper. Toilet roll holders. Yeah. Uh, big kitchen. ones or a kitchen one. We've got okay. some lard. We don't know what that's for yet, do we? We've got some scissors, a knife, and then we've got a big bag of birdseed. I'll say big bag. Most of it's all gone. Because, uh, excuse the horribleness that is our garden over there at the minute. But this has been the feeding station that David and Harry have been watching um, all the birds on and the squirrels. So that's the current feeding station going on there at the minute. So we're going to get crafting. In the meantime, I am going to have a coffee. What a surprise. I found this in Tesco today, caramel latte. But it's an instant one. So I'm going to see what that tastes like. Might be a bit too hot, but I have got a bit of an asbestos mouth. It's very sweet. Very sweet. I'm sure I'll like it. Um, I'm going to make David one in a minute. He's just on a conference call at the moment. What are you doing behind my head? I feel like you're like doing sticky up fingers. I'm doing gymnastics. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, it's quite nice. It's just very sweet. Let's get cracking. This is the first one we're doing. This is the toilet roll. So we've put, got the toilet roll and put some string through it like that. And then we cover it in lard and then cover it in birdseed. Looking forward to using the lard. No. No. He doesn't really want to touch the fat. What are we doing, Harry? Spreading the lard. <laughs> he loves the word lard for some reason. So yeah, we're spreading the lard all over the bird feeder. Lard. It's a messy job. Yes. I, am, I assure you, this is not tasty. No, don't eat it. I wouldn't recommend you eat it. But it's mummy's secret ingredient for a mince pies. That's what makes the pastry so tasty. That book, you, you eat the pastry, so yes. you are eating lard. Yes, I'm eating lard. So you said don't, so you don't recommend eat mince pies? Well, I wouldn't eat... Uh, no, you have to eat mince pies, but I just wouldn't recommend eating a tub of lard. All right, good job. Good spreading. So we now need to dip it in the bird seed lard. So we're going to put the bird feeders out. Here's the finished products. Let's have a look, Harry. We've got the big one with a giant stick and then two smaller ones. Where are we going to put them? I don't know. I don't know either. Mm -hmm. I think we should put one here. Yeah, one in there. Or that one. One here. Give them there to the spot. Um, one there like that. Um, maybe. Um, oops. Um, I don't there. Yep. Yeah. It's a bit tangled. Um, there we go. Yeah, where should we put the big one? Where are we putting the big one? Uh, 
We could just put it on the fence. Here. Not here. Uh, that work? Yeah. Good. Let's see what happens, shall we? Yeah. yeah. Excuse the state of this. I really want to do a refurb. And Harry's got a den over there, which he absolutely loves, but I don't even know where to begin. Any suggestions? Leave a comment down below. I cut these here, by the way. Yeah, and Harry's just cut off shoots of bamboo and stuck them in the ground, <laughs> which will not be staying. Sorry. I'm just going to shop. This is a Christmas tree we got from Delamere. We moved it. It didn't like it. I think we need to get rid of it. The neighbours chopped down all the trees and just landed in our garden so we still need to get rid of all these and my cool rope and they cut down my cool rope yeah they did so we just need to have a big tidy up outside in the garden for the summer that's the plan so it doesn't look like we're going to be get going anywhere so like i said that's why i bought the chairs last week if you would watched last week's vlog you've seen oh harry <laughs> Box your ears in a minute, mate. <laughs> and there's David on his call, just at the window there. I feel this is a little bit of deja vu because we seem to be doing the same thing again. Too good to go. Too good to go, as Harry said. It's four o'clock. Harry and I are in the car, and we're gonna go and find some too good to go. Well, yeah. this time, you're gonna tell us what it is. Greg's. Yes. Oh, Greg's. We're gonna go to Greg's. Yeah. Yeah, Greg's too good to go. It's a little bit away from us, but considering there's loads of Greg's near where we live, um, this is just a couple of miles away. But I bagged it last night. Um, I'm going to go and pick it up and Oops. see what we've got. I think are you, I'll are eat you filming it. my arm again? Yes. Uh, I think I might eat it this time because it's from Greg's. Mm. I've, I've not eaten some of the other stuff. This but You have eaten all of it, basically. Yeah, I think I've eaten most of the other stuff we've got. Uh, you've eaten all the. For cheese and no, pickle sandwiches. For cheese and pickle sandwiches, when we got the four cheese and pickle sandwiches. Um, what are you going to do if we get something like a steak bake? Uh, not going to eat it. Exactly. So let's see what we get. You never know. Fingers crossed for a donut yep. or a muffin. Yeah? Yep. Um, so that's what we're doing now. And we're just picking up some bits for party food. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. I'll do it the back of the, you know. Um, and then there. I keep forgetting to. I knew we should have brought a shopping list and I keep forgetting stuff, so uh, we'll see. Alright, let's go to Greg's. Yep. So we've just picked up our two good to go yep. order and Harry's going to tell you what we've got. Really? Can you guess it? What did we predict? We predicted, predicted a vegan. We got a yep. vegan steak bake, didn't we? Yep. Pink jammy. A pink jammy as well. A, a, a white cookie. A pan of chocolate. A vegan steak. And a sausage on meat. Sausage and bean pasty. In That's not a bad haul, that, just for under under three pounds. It's very nice handwriting. Yeah. So we've actually got a list. Harry was reading up a list there, so a list of things that we were in the steak bake. And there was an sorry, I'm trying to get on the motorway. And there was another lady picking up a two good to go order at the same time. Two good to go. Yep. So all good. I will we'll show you it when we get home. Oh we've also got a sandwich as well, that's not on the list. There's oh, also yeah. a cheese and tomato baguette as well, I think. Yeah, there is. For some reason. So, not bad for under three quid. Um, who's going to eat them all? I don't know. Obviously, I'll probably eat the vegan steak. I'm going to eat everything else apart from the sandwich. The weird thing is, though, Harry and David have had sausage and beef for our lunch today on the good old Iceland range. Yeah. Haven't you? So, yeah, that all looks very yummy. I'm sure we'll be fighting over the um, cookie and stuff when we get home. Should start a series on this. going to do a series? A two yeah. good to go series? Two good to go. Um, I think you need to be living a bit closer to Manchester. now from the shops I'm running my errands just want to show you the too good to go parcel that I got drinking a cheeky gin to get me in the party mood that's my excuse anyway it's past five o'clock it's allowed oh, that's a really nice gin actually it's the one that uh Seashawn vlog and Caroline got me for Christmas in the secret Santa let me show you what we got from Greg's so we have a sausage and bean pasty, or melt or whatever they're called. 
we have, yep, there we go. A cheese salad baguette. A steak bake. Told you we'd get vegan. What else do we have? There should be a cookie in that one. Open it. Sticky bun, sticky donut in that one. And then finally, the pan au chocolat. Well, that's not a bad haul. All under three quid. I'm impressed with that. I like that. Mm. I want to kind of eat it all now. I'm going to go and cook tea in a minute, like I said, we're having a party tea. Um, I didn't get as much bits as I, I, I thought I was going to get, but there's only the four of us. And yeah, you always end up buying too much anyway, don't you? So I'm going to get that cooking in the oven in a minute. And I'm going to get dressed. Get all 80s. <laughs> it feels a bit weird getting all dressed in my own home. Stay at home. But that's what we have to do at the minute. Just make the best of a bad situation. Come on. Give me some welly. <laughs> Cheers. ready. What do you reckon? Rocking that 80s vibe. Can't decide whether to wear the bow or just leave my hair because my hair is pretty much 80s style anyway. Don't say anything. Perm, -po Perm poodle. That's the look I'm going for. Ah, he's trying to think, he's trying to say he's um, gracious and giving me some bubbles. Cheers. Happy birthday to me. He's so nice. Party food is almost ready. Lots of beige goodness going on. Getting all ready for the Zoom party. Decided to do it in the bedroom so the boys can go downstairs or they don't have me with my friends giggling away. So all self and ready. I've got some water. Got some fizz, and I got some retro 80s sweets. Some rainbow drops. Now I'll drop some of this off to the girls over the week. What else have I got? <gasps> We've got some baby sham. Nothing says 80s, like the baby sham. And Malibu and Coke. So all the girls have got all of these Space Raiders. Course, some chocolate dips. One bar. What else have we got going on? Oh yeah. Refreshes and some dib dabs. That is going to go really well with that. I'm um, not quite sure. So just getting ready to log into Zoom. See what happens, I suppose. It'll end up just being another boring chat. I'll have a cup of tea in a minute. I've gone to all this effort for nothing. Uh, get your hey, wave. <laughs> Hi. Look at this mad crew. Look at this one here. <laughs> it all happens in a week on. <laughs> just got off the call with the girls. It's just. Oh, I'm looking at my watch. I'm not even wearing it. It's just after midnight. I'm in bed. And so is David. He's under there somewhere. Um, had a really lovely time, a couple of hours chat, bit of a boogie, lots of games of Never Have I Ever and a quiz, which I won. David thinks it's a fix. It's not a fix. I genuinely won. Unless Lindsay, unless my friend um, said the wrong last question wrong because it was a tiebreaker question, unless she purposely said that wrong. Had a fabulous night, lots of drink, lots of chats, lots of snack bits that I gave for them, like you saw before. What are we doing tomorrow? Sleeping. What? Sleeping. Sleeping. It's not very exciting for my birthday weekend, is it? Now take this face off and I will see you in the morning. Bye. 
Good morning, you gorgeous lot, you lovely lot. I say morning, it's loosely morning, it's 11.54. I'm all bright and bushy-tailed this morning, had a great night last night. <laughs> Apologies for the evening vlog. I don't think David will appreciate when he edits, edits it. Um, yeah, brilliant night. Couldn't sleep this morning though. My body clock is just set to go off at half seven and I just get up. So I'll probably get off about half, out of bed about half eight. We all had a bit of a lazy morning, because obviously kids aren't even dressed. David's still getting dressed. I've had several cups of coffee. I need to drink more water because I'm a little bit dehydrated. Um, not much going on today, really. Uh, but one thing I can say is I've moaned and I've whinged, because I do that a lot, about getting a hot tub. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I moan and I whinge a lot. David has a lot to put up with. Um, about getting a hot tub this weekend. I am so glad we didn't. The weather is awful. I mean, tomorrow might be a bit better, but I can't imagine us wanting to go outside in a hot tub right now. Um, I'm gonna tidy up. Um, I really want to clean and blitz the house and get it all nice and sorted, um, as we do every weekend. And then I'm not quite sure what we're doing yet. I really, 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 really want to decorate my bedroom. Um, it's something I've wanted to do for a while. I don't think it's been decorated since I moved in here. We've lived here for about eight or nine years coming up. Nine years, I think now. The kids have had their bedrooms decorated. The lounge has been done a few times, but our bedroom has never been touched. It's a mismatch of all sorts of awfulness. When we first moved in, we were desperate for curtains. We just put some curtains up. I hate them, always hate them. Lampshades, I hate everything. I just want a nice place to chill out and relax. So that is something I really want to do, but obviously whether it justified us going out and doing it, is it essential? I don't know. So that is where we're at at the minute. Um, if we do anything, obviously take you with us um, and leave it from there for now. See you in a bit. It's another weekend. We're in the car again, just the two of us, getting some supplies for DIY. It's tip DIY, food, too good to go. I think that's all we're doing isn't it? Um, I bought some new curtains for the bedroom because I really desperately needed some and unfortunately or in the process of getting those curtains I pulled the curtain rail out so we're having to fix that which isn't great um, so we are just going to get a few supplies so we can actually fix the wall. What are you laughing at? I'm laughing at where we're not going. Why? Is there a massive queue? Yeah. Okay well, we're not going there then. Open. Yeah, well, I suppose like the other week, that's everyone is just doing exactly the same thing. How big is the queue? Let's have a look. Judging by the amount of cars everywhere, it looks huge. Yep, not going in that queue. I am not that desperate to go and get that stuff and queue up in there. But look, the range has literally turned out to be a day out. I'm gonna to go to B&Q though. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna to head to B&Q, um, see if we can get some stuff there. But it's, wow. It's literally around the whole of the shop. So that's- And Argos as well. God, the queues are everywhere again. I suppose like the same as last weekend. There's just mammoth queues everywhere. We're still in the car. We picked up some supplies from B and Q. Ended up buying a drill because I think that's what you're supposed to do when you're on Apple and having to do lots of DIY. Let's buy a drill. Um, feel a little bit today. It's horrible. It's cold. It's windy. It's bleh. It's grey outside, so it kind of makes you feel a little bit like that as well. Um, I don't think we're going to get much decorating done today. Um, yeah, it's going to be a project. It's not going to be a fixing a day kind of job like the kitchen was. There's lots of um, things that need sorting out before we can even think about, I'm oh, sorry, painting or wallpapering or whatever it is we need to do. I'm sorry, I have a confession to make. We are just 
on our way home but following that we are going to pick up another too good to go order i just saw it last night on the app and he told me to book to get it it's 2.95 it's another greg's one he's determined to get a decent greg's haul even though yesterday's was really quite good i can't eat more pastry though how many pasties are we going to get today well the i had the vegan steak bake today for my lunch and that was really nice actually um so we're gonna see what we get at this greg's haul now and then we are going home to the kids because i've just had a hobbycraft order come through that i ordered about four days ago it was supposed to be click and collect and i don't think it and, I, and for some reason it got sent to my house and anyway long story short it's arrived and there's a few things in there for harry we were supposed to be doing during the school holidays um so we're going to see what that's like maybe do that today or tomorrow so that's the plan so far but let's go and pick up this order back from the shops kettle is on harry is banging let me show you what we got from greg's not a bad haul to be honest we have got a chocolate muffin we have got a chocolate donut another sausage and bean pasty think you can eat three in a row yeah no <laughs> we have got two sausage rolls which are still actually warm a little bit a tuna sub roll and a chicken tikka baguette which i'm actually looking forward to tomorrow if it's not too soggy um not a bad haul 295 then i could eat this i should we shouldn't just have meals and food we should just eat this like this um having a brew gonna eat the muffins and cakes now and then david's gonna crack on with some diy while we're gonna put our feet up yeah absolutely so this is the current situation that we find ourselves in i am stood on a chair trying to strip the walls we've come across a few issues the walls are knackered to tell you the truth they're knackered so david's gone to help to get some filler to fill these in so we're going to paper this bit we're going to paint that wall gray that wall white that wall white this wall white so David and I live in a rented property. We have done for, we've lived here for about nine years. Um, and it does us good. Circumstances as they are, we were never able to afford to buy a house. Maybe in the future, if we can save up enough, then that is our, that is my goal now. Before then, we've never been financially able to. Um, circumstances as they were, that is just what happened to us. And I'm fine with that, I am. I think there's a lot of stigma around renting properties um 50% of my friends own a house 50% don't I think of a generation that struggled to get on the property ladder just bear with me a second sorry about that that was David just telling me that he can't find any polyfiller in Tesco's it's all sold out because everybody is doing DIY um yeah so I do feel there's a bit of a stigma behind renting um as opposed to buying a house but I don't understand why lots of other places that like you're open place have long-term lets and that's just the way they do it. They don't buy houses, but over in this country, that's what we feel like we should do. And if you haven't got a house, it's like you've not achieved anything. So we are going to make the best of this house for now. There are quite a few flaws with it. It's not perfect. Um, I'm going to make the best of it for a couple of years, I think, unless the rent goes astronomically high because it is already high into where the area is and then we're hoping to buy who knows what life's gonna throw at us over the next few years though but that is hopefully my plan um i have best get cracking at this because as you can see it's going dark it's almost six o'clock in the evening and i need to start thinking about dinner and currently i don't have a bedroom to sleep in with any curtains <laughs> see you in a bit